Hey, what's good YouTube? Nate with Mass Collector, back with another video. Uh, I just got some cards back from PSA. Finally, got one of my regular submissions back. Um, super excited for this one, because we got some really big hitters in this, as far as value, hopefully. And um, yeah, I'm really, really excited about tearing this bad boy open to see what we get here, so. All right, so I did not have a detailed list of what I thought I was gonna get for grades on this one. Um, there's a video out there, I'll link it above, that I go through and kind of guess on what I think it might get. But um, I'm just too excited to open this thing up and look at it, so I'm not gonna go through the video and check it all out. So there's 20, should be 20 total cards. bad news bears in this thing first um, so they give you a free sleeve uh, they give you uh, one of their PSA card saver eBay collab things All 19 are slabbed. So there was no trimming or any of that crap on here. So I'll try to go from the All right, so we got all these cards here. All right, so first up is, this is Magic Johnson 1988 Fleer. Um, I was thinking, I think I was gonna get a nine. I bought this card for 10 bucks off of Facebook. I gotta remember, these are this way. So, I mean, the card looks really great and we got a nine, all right. So, Got what we thought we were gonna get there. Got a nine. And I'll try to keep my nine pile right here. Okay, next card on the list is Magic Johnson 1988 Fleer. Um, this is the all-star card. It's definitely off-centered. I was thinking it's gonna get a, a between an eight and a nine on this one. Um, and we got a nine sick so we'll take nines all day on these 88 fleers so that's cool got a pair of nines there really happy about that uh next up dennis rodman 1988 fleer rookie card i'm kind of shaking because i got like five kobe bryant rookie cards in this thing and just really excited to see what what happens with these cards here um i thought this one looked really really good so i thought at least a nine um, all right, so I got another nine. It was just too off centered for a 10, in my opinion, which is probably what kept it out of there. But you know, otherwise, it, it looks really, really, really good. So, so happy about that. You know, that's a probably close to a 200 300 card right there. Uh, next is Scotty Pippen 1988 Fleer. Um, I was thinking this one here was gonna get a uh, probably an eight and a half or a nine. Another nine, sweet. And off centering just you know has been killing me on these uh, 88 Fleers, but I think that's pretty much the only thing that's wrong with these things is that. So uh, next one up is Michael Jordan, 88 Fleer as well. And um, obviously hoping for a nine as well on this one, just because I think everything looked pretty good except for the centering. And we got a nine. 
Yeah, the centering actually is off quite a bit. I'm surprised that it, it got a nine, but um, I'm gonna take that for sure. So happy about that. Doing pretty good. Uh, here's a Jordan All-Star 1988. Uh, this one here looked really good, I thought. Um, it's definitely off-centered a little bit, pushed around, but we got a near mint eight on this one. So um, the edge up here is a little chippy, but um, I'll take an eight. I like, uh, you know, an eight's not bad. So we'll put the eight over here as we build our stack of cards. Um, uh, this one here is 1987 sticker Jordan. Um, it's severely off cut. And I believe I actually put down qualifiers on this one just to see if that was gonna make the grade any better. So a near mint seven, they didn't even put a qualifier on here. But uh, a seven's not bad. I mean, uh, for how bad it's cut, you know, I'll take a seven. And the other two that I sent in before this, I got eights on, so I did pretty good there. So we got a seven, eight, and a nine pile now. Uh, next up is Michael Jordan starting lineup. This is 1988. Near mint eight. Man, these are hard to grade. I thought this one looked pretty good. But another eight on these. Uh, this one here is the brown border starting lineup. And again, I was thinking, you know, hopefully somewhere around the nine area, but another eight. I can't get over an eight on these things. Uh, this is the, the next one is the yellow border. And I thought this looked good too, but we got another eight. So eights galore on the starting lineup. Those are hard ones to get good one in. Uh, next one here is a top crop. So it's got Akeem Olajuwon on the, on the back and it's got Shaq on the front. Uh, it's a 1996. So it's, you know, Shaq's like third or fourth year. And we got a near mint eight on this. Um, obviously there's a lot of room for failure on these cards just because there's two sides on it. So I'm sure the surface got bump stuff back. I really wish they had subgrades on these things. But it's a really cool looking card though. I, th I think it's a, it's a really nice looking card. Top crop. Uh, next, oh, Shaquille O'Neal rookie card, upper deck, 92, number one draft pick version. I pulled this out of a pack when I was a kid and a near mint eight. Oof. So disappointing in that. I think it's off centered. It's, it's pushed that way based on this edge and that edge probably but I wanted to get a slab. This one here is a keeper. You know, I pulled this one and it got an eight. I'll, I'll take it. Um, next up is Tim Duncan. This is one of his rookie cards. Tops, 1997. Uh, picked this up off of eBay last year and an inner mint eight. So I think the off centering on it definitely did not help. Um, other than that, I'm, I'm not really sure what could have been wrong with it. Because when I look at the, the back, you know, through the, I don't see any surface issues whatsoever. So it's, it's got to be an off centering thing or some microscopic corner issue. Whew, a lot of eights. Uh, this one here is another Tim Duncan rookie card that I got. Graded. Uh, 97 SP authentic and we got a mid nine take that I'm sure that'll sell well so I'll start to creeping back up here the the eights were killing us there for a while <laughs> um, we got another Tim Duncan here upper deck 
97 SP authentic as well. Um, Mint 9. Wow, lots of 9s, lots of 8s. And then we get down to the Kobe Bryant's um, rookie cards. So all of these I pulled out of packs when I was um, younger. Um, Kobe Bryant, Upper Deck, 96, Mint 9, man I thought this one had 10 written all over it. Next one here is uh, Metal Fleer Foundation, or uh, Fresh Foundations, 96 Fleer Metal. And a nine. Again, man, I thought these were clean. Another Kobe rookie. This is a uh, Skybox Premium 96, Near Mint 8, wow, uh, another Kobe Rookie 96 Ultra. This one was pretty, I think I had to scrub this one down pretty good. Uh, near mint eight on this one as well. Man, it looks so good though in there. And last one, Stadium Club, Kobe, Rookies, and near mint eight. Wow, I'm really disappointed in uh, in these. I thought for sure they were gonna be at least squeak 110 out of these Kobe cards, but got all three eights and two 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 nines. No tens on this whole submission. Oh well, that's why we get them graded. I just don't see what's what's wrong with these, but they sure look nice in these cases. A lot of eights, a lot of nines, and we got one one seven out of the deal, so that's how it goes um thanks guys for watching this video i got another psa submissions coming back in here more frequently and um probably more disappointment because it's pretty much the same cards over and over and over again i just kind of spaced them out between different submissions just to break them up and um you know cost me a thousand dollars thousand one thousand fifty bucks to get all these graded so I'm gonna have to uh, probably gonna list them all. I mean, except for the except for a couple of the Kobe's and um, the Shack. The rest of them I don't really I'm not really attached to. So I'm probably just gonna list them all. Try to recover as much as I can and um, just keep hoping for these next submissions that they come back that they um, you know do better. And I mean maybe I shouldn't be so hard on myself. I mean. You know, I, all these cards are from, you know, the late 90s and older. And, you know, I got, what, nine, nine nines, ten eights, and one seven. You know, it's not, it's not horrible. I mean, a lot of these are rookie cards or 1988, you know, Fleer cards, which, you know, that's a pretty good return on this Jordan. I mean, I sold one of those for 600 before, but I'll put the, the value of all these and, and the grades in the video when I when I edit it. But um, thanks guys for watching it. Really appreciate it. Please subscribe if you haven't, and uh, you can watch more of my uh, ultimate failure in grading cards.
<laughs> as we move forward, see if I get any better. But um, yeah, I thought we had some, some winners coming back in this one, but I guess not. But uh, Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment, let me know what you guys think. And then um, hit that bell for notifications for new videos when I drop them. And we'll see you in the next one. Later, guys. Bye.